Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. I am extremely jacked up. I'll tell you what, we are going to go up and try for some trophy walleyes in this time of year. If there's any time of year that you have a chance of catching an absolutely giant, it's definitely right now. So hold on to your heinies. Let's see how this week's show goes. It's been, we've been in a little bit of a drought. Did a bunch of moving around, found a lot of cold water. Came back in here and first pass, game on. Nothing big though. Boy, he just inhaled it again on that slow poke. Look at that. That's a pretty sight right there. I want more. I want more. Boy, I forgot what it felt like. It's been a good hour. I kind of like that. Decent fish. That's a cool part about fishing up on big water. You know, you have opportunities like this to, to catch a lot of big fish. And you know, the last couple of days, I mean, we've caught a lot of fish, you know, 40 fish days, but today we're struggling. So it just, it's kind of like a puzzle. You got to put it together. And, and uh, when it breaks, uh, again, you got to put it together again. And every time it's a little bit different. Let's let her go. What is the score? This started waking up. I'll grab this one. It's a nice fish. It's not a giant. You keep 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 fishing. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Got him. Oh, I'm loving it right there. Got that one on, of course. The LS series, a slow pull. Piece of plastic. No, that fish actually pinned it right to the bottom. See that? Slapped it right straight down. But I was really winding slow that time too. You know, we just started off here. I'm gonna let this guy, girl go. And uh, I've had a couple bites so far, but I think I was working it a little too fast. I see that water temperature cooled down about three degrees from all that heavy wind we had yesterday. I'm just really lifting really slow. Got that long shank slow poke on there. I'm using a 3 8 I might even lighten that up a little bit just to, so it won't drop so fast. And I've got that twister tail on there and just really Working it about as slow as I can get it to work. Yep, that looks like a darn good fish. Oh, that is a that is a tank. Nice job. You know, you've got that oddball on there, and that fish just absolutely whaled that. Get a good picture. Hold it the right way, too. Yep. I kind of, yeah. Nice job. All right. Yep, there we go. Two down. Oh, is that a big fish? Holy man. You know, that's the great part about fishing this sand too and using electronics. Yeah, let's keep it right on the fish. That's a giant fish. Oh, it's a giant. Oh, is that a giant? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, nice job. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. That is a big, a big, big girl. And I'll tell you what, that jig is absolutely buried in that fish's mouth. Just absolutely nice job, I'll tell you that. Hey, I hope you're gonna hold your own fish up, right? That is, that is an absolutely giant. There was a hazy day downtown LA. Hey, I'll tell you what, you guys, I was just switching plastics around and I just put a new color on and that's a lot because we're marking a ton of fish and look oh look at that fish look at look how beautiful that is with that clear water and the size of these fish again you know you're, I'm constantly changing when you're marking fish and not catching them it's kind of crazy if you're making cast after cast and you're not not getting them to bite always start changing your colors on that man that fish just absolutely pounded that one come on girl no, there's a pre-spawn fish for sure. Look at, nice and fat. Look at that again, that long shank LS version of the slow poke and just absolutely annihilated that. Oh, I'm loving this stuff. 
Again, putting the pattern together, that's what it's all about. I gotta admit to you guys, we really struggled this morning. You know, we got on a decent bite for about the first half hour, and then everything fell apart on us. And so we've been struggling, putting a lot of miles on, but now we definitely got a pattern coming on. We got some good fish, so hopefully, uh, hey, what's going on up there? You got a loop, little loop. Here, let me let this one go. All right, see you, girl. Woo, out of here. Oh, I just put that on too. Oh, I thought I had it too. See what happens is it just spins around. Sometimes you gotta get them wet to it. Get them to slide. There you go. Oh, not good. Not good, not good. Things that I feel this time of year to be consistent on catching fish out here is obviously you're looking for that water that's not super clear. Um, dirty water definitely helps out a lot better because it's going to be warmer in the most part. And the other part is it's a lot easier to catch them fish in dirty water and not so sensitive. But making long casts is definitely a big thing. Using a super braid, um, I'm usually using 10 pound tests. Oh, there's one. Oh, oh, oh. 10 pound. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Just on the glide. No, what we're doing here is too, we're kind of mixing it up. And uh, making long cast is, is real crucial. Now what I've got, I've got 10 pound test super braid on here, and then I've also got 12 pound test fluorocarbon, and I've got about a three foot leader. And using a, you know, a seven to seven and a half foot rod, getting the distance is the big thing. Getting away from the boat, the water we're fishing now is a lot clearer than it was back there. And these fish definitely get really spooky for sure. So, and what I'm doing with this bait now is I'm just lifting it off the bottom. I'm letting it glide to me, and it's, so it's gliding and it's landing, and the second it lands on the bottom, then I lift it back up, but I'm really working that bait slow, and that's definitely key. The cool, other cool part is too is that, you know, with good electronics, either using Garmin or using Hummingbird, you're definitely gonna see these fish, and if you're not marking them, there's really no sense of stopping. So every time we mark them, you know, we end up catching most of them. Every time we mark them, we end up catching at least some. Not all of us, you know, but one of us in the boat. And you can guess which one of this, me. These other two guys, they're just in here for technical support, right? To fix my motor if it breaks down, right? Fix my trolling motor up front, right? Good jokes, good laughs, right? Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody, it is amazing once you get on these fish and you get them to trigger, you get the right pattern down, how every pass we're getting them. This feels like a really nice fish, too. This is gonna be a big girl, guys. I got a feeling, oh, oh yeah, look at the size of, oh, 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 look at the size of that walleye. Oh my God, where's the net? Do we have a net, man? Oh my God, look at the size of it. Oh, oh, holy giants, and, oh my gosh. It is a freaking giant. Oh, 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 yeah, baby. Love it. Look at that fish. Oh, 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 oh. That is an absolutely freaking giant. Look at that. Look at that slow poke jig. Look at that. This is why we come to Green Bay to fish. Great Lakes, look at that. This is absolutely a giant walleye. Oh, you guys. Hey, what are you doing? You putting the plastic back yeah, on? Oh, what do you mean? Hey. Retired. Oh, you're retired? <laughs> huh. See, before they, they left me. You're right. I was the only guy with plastics. Huh. Just because what what are you what are you doing? I'm getting the board. I want to oh. measure that. Wow. That is an absolutely giant. Oh, is that a giant? So she's only about 28, but she's got some. Look at that giant. Wow. About every third, fourth cast, my line my, keeps getting a loop in it all the time and it's not coming off very well. So what I do is that this always carry this a little bit of real magic 
And I'll tell you what it does, just coats that line. What I do is I'll just spray it down, coats that line, and I'll tell you, this line will be good for another three days. Takes out all that memory. All right, boys, good luck. You're gonna need it. <laughs> you know, the key to coming out here fishing with two other really good anglers is that for half of the day, you gotta make sure that they have baits that don't work very well. It sure makes me look good. <laughs> now they caught on though. As slow as I can, I'm letting it tick the bottom. And as soon as it ticks the bottom, whoop, roar, roar. as soon as it ticks the bottom, there, that's a nice fish to it. That one pinned it, as you can see. You know, pin that bait, oh, grab her. Oh, is that a chunky fish? Look at that. Definitely a pre-spawner there for sure. Look at that. Now we're getting some post and some pre-spawn. Um, we're right in about the middle of the, the spawn. Water temperatures range anywhere from about, you know, 42 to the highest I've seen it um, was 48. Um, and just really working that bait really slow. All right, let's get her back in and on to the next one. Oh, she's out of here. Got a little blood from that last fish. Hooked it in the chin. Definitely want to keep my new warrior looking. Look at new. It's a great part about double toes. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know, I'm definitely a firm believer in the slow poke, and we've talked about this before, but a couple of the main reasons is that when you look at the LS series here, it's got a, a really extra long shank on it, which is awesome for plastics because you can get that hook placement so far back. On the collar, it's got these notches on there where you can slide the plastics up so they won't slide back on you, especially after you catch a bunch of fish on them. And you know, of course, the other part about it, it's a stand-up jig, flat on the bottom like that. And it's got a torpedo-style head too, which allows it to go through the water easily. And when you get in weeds or you get in rocks, it's easy to maneuver through them, that type of structure too. Um, the other part about this jig is it's really cool, especially like a day like today, we're fishing for giant walleyes. You want a hook that is really stout, and that hook is very stout. That is that is definitely razor sharp and stout. That hook is definitely not gonna bend out on you. It doesn't feel like a real monster, but feels like a good fish. God, ooh, if you feel a little bit bigger now. Good, I love this stuff. Man, this is hard to beat. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice, fat fish. Woo, you gotta love that. You know, this is definitely another pre-spawn female too. You can tell just by, oop, my bait's still in there. You can tell. Just by, look, at, look at the girth on her. It's kind of neat, like I said, most of the day we've caught half and half, half pre-spawn and half post-spawn. Um, I would say in the next probably, you know, four to five days, all these fish will be spawned out. Let's get her back in so she can do what she needs to do. There you go. You know, through the course of the day, I've definitely changed my technique over and over. When there was no wind, I was really jigging it really slow and soft. Now that we got a lot of turbulence in the water, Ooh, that feels like a good fish. That's another one of them ones that was pinned, you know. Beautiful fish. Gotta love that. Let's get him back in. Get back in there. Hey. This might be spawned out already. Yep. Oh, yeah, that one is. Feel like a decent fish? <laughs> they are. Want to shove them over here and I'll net them? 
Oh, we barely got them too. All right, a little chunky monkey on a blade bait. Or a lipless crankbait. Were you doing anything different that time? Um, Same stuff you've been doing for the last couple hours? Yep. Right? This is a 10,001 cast. <laughs> nice fish. Green bait, walleye. Little guy, go back. Back in, back in the flash. Hey, shotgun in the kitchen here. We got marinated ribeyes. They were on sale the other day at Leroy's. I'm telling you guys, this is the bomb. I have one of their nice fancy buns. I got some Colby cheese. I'm going to throw it on a big green egg. These things are fast. You come home from work, I would say a minute to two minutes on each side. They don't take much to cook, but man, the flavor is out of this world. Let's go outside and visit the big green egg. I'm working on this wind. Whoa, the, <laughs> the bun almost blew me away. Yeah, they're cut pretty thin, so that's why it only takes a little bit, but you can see all the seasonings on there, marinated. He won't, Randy and Steve won't tell me what the marinade is, but it's good. You bite in, it's a really good flavor. All right, I loaded up a little bit while you guys are gone. Took the bun, put a little nice Colby cheese on there. So once again, everybody, the marinade, the beer, it's pizzas. Leroy Meats has everything in Fox Lake and Waupon. Stop in. These sandwiches, look at how thin they are. This is perfect. I had about a minute and a half on each side. Come home from work, you're eating within five minutes. It takes the grill about 10 minutes to get warmed up. Leroy lunch minutes, awesome marinated ribeye. Hey, I'll tell you what, we definitely are on a bunch of fish now. Awesome too, you know. We definitely put a lot of miles on today, checking spots all the time too. You are a late bloomer, man. I am. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Gotta love it. Boy, we got a good chop now too, and which really helps when you're looking at all this clear water. You can see, look how far down you can see them fish. It's amazing. Nice job. Whoa. Oh. Just pop, <laughs> pop right off. We we'll hold that one up. Quickly, this. You want to hold that one up, Dean? Nice. Hey, so what brings a guy like you to fish a body of water like this? Good fishing. Yeah. People just love, love. Nice. Nice job. Nice quality. Green bay water. Hey, I think your partner back there, he needs to step it up a little bit now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he had her going, and he was teasing you before. Slacking. Right? Slacking. So slacker. Slacker jacker. What a great way to end the day. 
Time to head in, boys. I'm getting hungry. Very hungry. <laughs>